Well, with thanks to the Glenroy Sports Club and the Strathmore Community Bank, I'm very excited. And the Sports Club and the Cricket Club at Glenroy are very excited because Steve Goodwin has been appointed the coach of the Cricket Club for season 21-22. Steve, uh, welcome to the club, first of all. Welcome to the show. You must be excited about the appointment and uh, what lies ahead for the club. Yeah, very excited. We've got a good young list and we've recruited some older, more experienced guys, so it's very exciting. Your own journey through cricket. I did a bit of research today. You're a bit of a toyker, just an old stage who knows how to play the game a bit, Steve. Is that correct? Wow, some say that. I've got plenty of years left in me, I'd, I'd suggest. You've obviously been there for a few years now at the club and obviously your first four. Do you need to recruit any players? How are you going to go about bringing what the club needs at this stage? Because I know that you just got dropped down a grade. So to go back up again, what are you looking for from the players you've got at the moment? Well, last year, our average age, if you took me out of the team, our average age would have been 21, I reckon. So I think that's what we did lack, a bit of experience at top order of the bat and a good finisher with the ball. We're looking to get another quick in, a couple of top order bats, and that will just tidy it off with a couple of the young blokes learning from those older guys. I think that will really help. With the recruiting, is it basically done in-house where you search for the players you require or the players get involved with the recruiting of, of players in your cricket team? You know, I played cricket a long, long time ago. You know, It was all about mates of mates, and Glenroy's a pretty strong club, a very uh, community-orientated club, a very close club. So yep. the recruitment, how will that process take place? We've had a chat with a few guys who know guys and who I used to play with and who I grew up with, guys a bit younger and guys a bit older. And So like you said, it is a close-knit area and it's just through guys that you know. But that's basically how we're going to do it and we'll angle to get couple of older fellas to steady the ship with the young guys and help that journey of the young guy because at the end of the day the club needs the young guys to develop to be the next group of leaders basically. When will pre-season start and you know how many sessions will that look like? I know it's only we're only in June, early June now but when do you think the pre-season will start and where do you think we're going to be training at pre-season or how's that going to unfold? I've got the pre-season program already lined out. Some guys have already started doing their own one-on-one stuff but we're starting the first Tuesday in August and we do August indoor sessions. Obviously the weather's not greatest there and I've organised something different this year in a, in a, um, a camp. We're going to try and blend the, the new recruits and the new young kids with the older guys and try and get as close together as we can as a group, as quick as we can. How did you see last year as far as performance go? I mean, obviously it's about it's a high grade, pretty competitive. How did you see from your own eyes and what can be different this year compared to last year? Where we went wrong was we just we just didn't make enough runs, for one, and we were just a young, too young group. We were playing against an average age of 30 with the other with the other clubs. And like I said, you had me and then you had a 32-year-old and then the rest were in their mid to early 20s. So it's a lot of experience comparing our team to what we're playing against. I think to get a couple of older guys in, to teach these younger guys when to attack, when to steady up, control the game a bit more, you know? I like that analogy. And I suppose the other, look, because I'm always a half glass fork type person, Stephen, I think to get games in the young guys that play, you know, they're, they're young playing senior credit against men, the experience they gain, you know, batting out in the middle and spending time in the middle, bowling overs to quality players, that can only be really good for the future of the club when they've had games under their belt. Yeah, it definitely will. And hopefully this year, some of them stay in the, in the senior team. Some of them might start in the seconds, but they'll go down there and find it a lot easier and, and they'll push back straight back up sooner rather than later, I'd assume. What you want the club to be doing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you want yeah. you want players from the region wanting to come there because one, it's a, it's a good uh, create a club to be around and uh, there's good people and it's a bit of fun but also successful with, with what you bring to the table as a coach and, and your experience you've, you know you said you've been around I think you said before eight years at a club which is great experience and I've done it again since research you've been pretty successful as a player at the club so obviously to step into the coaching role must be a big decision for you to make so well on that that front I did it at a couple of clubs previously and I'd started a new business when I come to Glenroy and I just didn't have the time to do the role but but now it's sort of settled in the background. So let's give it another go and get the young blokes up and firing and hopefully we have a big year. Give the business a bit of a plug uh, while you're there. I'm actually going to share this around to a few people. So what do you do? What's your business? Uh, decorative designer panels. So we're a supply chain in the, the 
of furniture and cabinet making and joinery area. Not so much the builders, but more the cabinet makers, joiners, and all those guys who build the cabinetry for the homes. Where are you based? Camberfield. Camberfield, not far away. Yep. It's only around the corner. Before I go, when's that date pre-season and have you locked in a venue as yet? We've penciled in a venue. We're just trying to sort out time frames and days. With COVID last year, there was no indoor sessions. So we're trying yep. to get in and get booked reasonable times and days and whatnot. So okay. I think that will come out in the next three or four weeks on our Facebook page and whatnot, along with a couple of recruits. It'll be exciting times. I want to have a chat to a couple of those recruits, a couple of the old stages, and anybody wants to get involved. And as I said, this will get shared around, put on the website, and uh, we'll get it out there and, and get some excitement around the club because it is an exciting time. You've got a young group. you are coming with some experience. You've been at the club a long time. You know the culture. You know, we want to be able to have a bit of fun, but also we want to be successful. So to you, Steve Goodwin, thanks for joining me on the Sports Club show. It's uh, thanks to the Strathmore Community Bank, the Benigo Bank there in Napier Street, and good luck for the season. I'm sure that we'll have a chat from time to time and chat with the new recruits. Come yep. on with some of the games and do a bit of filming and uh, get a bit of excitement yep. going. So thanks very much. That'd be great. Thank you.